Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video what I'm showing you is this cumulative line chart how you can create this. So generally when we have the data or we have the sales data in this case which is trended over that period of time starting from 2018 to 2021 and you can see this is how the trend going up and down. So this is an actual representation of data but that's not you know your business always wants they want sometimes like a cumulative sum cumulative sum is nothing but you have this point and this point so rather than showing this point you basically sum up the previous point into the current point and then show the information so point one point two that means it is in the increasing order so all the values are previous values are being added to the current value and then it is showing whether so the best part about this it shows whether it is really going up, it is slowing down or it is picking up the pace. So that is why this chart is important to understand if your business is running with the same pace, it is becoming stagnant, going down or what it is. Whereas this is to really understand the trend of the data, like when the sales goes down, generally in January as you can see, but when the sales goes up is uh, in the quarter four, as you can see in most of these cases, right? And overall trend is that it is going up. So both the charts are important. This one easy to create, this one difficult to create. So how we can create this is something which I will show you. So this is a sh basically a workbook which I am having. Uh, as you can see, I'm creating a lot of different scenarios based on how I'm encountering and how I'm basically finding it out in my day-to-day -day work. If you need this, instructions are present in description to get this workbook. Now, if uh, once uh, if you are want to practice along with me then you need the data for that link is present in the description let me tell you how you can get it so the link which I have given in the description will bring you over here in this data set folder right and in this data set folder you have what I am doing right now is I am maintaining all of my data set in this data set sheet because uh, you have given me the feedback those who are my previous user that finding it directly over here is, is not useful or it's it's becoming very challenging so that is why i'm now maintaining it under the data set sheet in the data set sheet this is the sample superstore data set along with this it has many other data sets so you can easily figure it out and i am pointing it out like someone has just come over here and looking at this information okay along with this one more quick information about this particular link so this link where I'm keeping all of my videos so that you can easily search any of my video and jump directly onto this using the video link that is present. I have the video category like DAX, visual or what and difficulty level. That way you can plan it and if you need training, you can reach out to me. Okay, so with that, let's go and see it in the uh, blank workbook. All right, so in this workbook, as you can see, this is a new workbook and I have just imported the orders data. So orders data is very straightforward. It's the data of transaction that happens on a daily basis, right? So what do we, what I will do is first, I will create that same trend chart by taking this order date and uh, I will bring the order date and I will bring the sum of sales. This will give you the first chart which I created right and i will just go down one level into the hierarchy so now the chart is similar right if you remember this is a trend chart now what we will going to do is we will produce the cumulative sum okay so for that what i'll do is i will create a new chart again this is a new chart which it has created now for that also i need to bring in the order date over here right uh, and in this order date now y axis for y axis i will create a new measure so this measure is very specific to uh, scenarios like this where running total and all will not going to work but this measure will going to work okay so we will call it cumulative sales right this is the name of the measure and now i will hit alt enter to move on to the next line this is where we will create a variable and, and the variable name will be max date so max date is here now the max of order date so we are finding the latest state so that we can recursively basically find out uh, that the calculation is not going beyond this max state for creating the running total. Now what we will going to do is we will hit return alt enter. We will going to write the calculate function and that will be sum of sales. 
that is first sum of sales and then we will going to write the all selected function so all selected function will going to basically make sure that the filter context is being maintained easily right so order date and then we will say the order date is less than um, order date is less than the less than equals to our max date okay so once we do that we will hit enter so again we are not doing anything uh, complex we are simply finding out what is our maximum date so that we can create that running total impact then we are simply summing up the order by taking the filters which is part of the orders table or the context of the filters which is there we were going to apply then we are saying that our order date should always be less than the max date so that recursive impact will be created for the cumulative sum now once this is created what we will going to do is simply we will going to bring it over here and i will go one level down by going clicking here and then i will simply say i will add the data labels so that you can see that it is properly created i'll come over here also and i will add the data labels for this so that you can compare both of these things so that way you can see total 2.3 million dollars of sales that has happened from 2018 till date so that's another good statistic that you can find it out with the help of this and create the cumulative sum which then can work with any filter so for example if i have a filter let's say i want to take category and i want to understand technology so this is my technology trend actual trend but this is my cumulative sum right similarly office supplies or furniture it will going to work as expected and then you can continue analyze your data so let me know if you find it useful uh, useful and um, you know it has helped you feel free to share it uh, with others on the linkedin or twitter so that others can get also a benefit out of it with that thank you so much and meet you with the next video with a new topic